the recording has started. We will let folks know how to order supplies and stuff as part of this uh, training. So um, let's see. Let me that. Yeah. That. See that better? Okay. So hi everybody. I'm Caitlin Saposi Belknap. I'm um, national director of Move to Men, and I'm here at our office in Eureka, California. And I want to introduce Toma Lynn Smith, who is uh, to my left. Toma, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes. Hi, I'm Toma. Um, I'm very happy to be working at Move to a Men as the new development coordinator, and I, I believe the first as well, the first and new development coordinator. And I've been here since uh, August. And so um, I've learned a lot from a lot of people already who I've met um, at one of the convergences in uh, Madison. But I'm looking forward to learning more from everybody on this call. And Thomas in Chicago. And so, <laughs> um, let's see. Folks should be hearing us now. If you're having difficulty, um, you can use the chat uh, function. And Tom is going to be leading most of the webinar, and I'll just be chiming in as needed. So I will be available to help if necessary. Although, if you have major difficulties, um, you could try using your phone. Long distance charges do apply, so note that. Um, or you can contact support at anymeeting.com. And this webinar, like all of our webinars, will be recorded. So if you're having difficulty, you can always um, tune into the recording. It will be up on our YouTube channel uh, in the next couple of days. So before we get started, and I turn it over to Toma, we wanted to do a quick poll to see um, how many folks have done a house party before. So um, let me stick this poll up. And you can just click onto your screen if you've ever hosted a fundraising house party before or attended one. So um, obviously, if you've hosted one, you've also attended. So, <laughs> so give it a couple more minutes to finish doing everybody. Looks like um, we have about. We've had three people who have hosted it before, uh, and um, three people who have never been to a house party or hosted one before, and a couple people who have attended. So cool. Thanks for letting us know. That gives us a sense of kind of what kind of background you're bringing in. Um, when we do, when we get to the end, um, we'll open it up for Q&A and also comments. So if folks have suggest folks who have done this before have suggestions that you want to add in, um, feel free to do so. You can also chat your questions as we go. And if we're going to get to it, I'll hold them. But if it's um, timely, I might interrupt Toma. But if she's in a good flow, then we might just hold them to the end. But you can feel free to type them whenever they occur to you so that you don't forget them. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Toma to um, walk us through the agenda. Hello, everyone. Um, and David, Daniel, I see that you already have a question about uh, where to order, where to order the, the DVD. And uh, we'll go over that a little bit later. We'll talk about the house party kit. Um, just let you know that I saw that. Okay, um, so today, um, first with the agenda, one thing that I highly recommend if you're, you know, if you're able um, to go to the Move to Amend website uh, slash house parties and download um, the, um, the Word document, um, House Party Checklist, because we're going to be going through that later on. And I think it's a very good guide uh, to plan your party and, um, and so also, too, just so you'll have some guidance and that you're not doing this all alone, uh, there are ways, steps you can take to make things easier and not be overwhelmed by it. Um, so we will be talking about, um, as you see in the agenda, I'm going to give you an intro about Move to Amend, uh, talk to you a little bit about our fundraising and our plan for 2013 for these last couple of months, um, which I cannot believe is already the holiday season. Um, also talk about where our money goes and um, most importantly, how to host a house party and as Caitlin said, uh, we're going to do a Q and A towards towards the end, and uh, any comments that you may have comments you may have as well. Okay, so first of all, some most of you probably already know this already, but um, it's good to review uh, for newcomers and and refresher. Um, who is Move to Amend? Uh, Move to Amend is a coalition of activists working to amend the Constitution to in all forms of corporate personhood as we build a movement for vital people to power, power democracy in the U.S. Um, 
Blue to Amend, as you all know, we do oppose corporate personhood. Um, I won't go through each one of these. I'll let you kind of read that for yourself. But um, the one thing that sticks out for me is number two, is we the people have inalienable rights that we claim by virtue of being human. Um, so it's one thing that I really like about being part of the Blue to Amend team is that, as I, I firmly believe, the corporations are not, are not people. Um, the next slide here, a uh, move to amend strategy is to amend the Constitution. Our, our move to amend, I'm sorry, our We the People Amendment states artificial entities such as corporations do not have constitutional rights and money is not free speech, campaign, campaign spending, and donating can be regulated. Um, to, pass, to pass the We the People Amendment, it will take a powerful organized people's movement. We are part of a long standing struggle for democracy and self determination. Only about 5% of the population were considered a political people under the Constitution in 1776. So, this has been a long battle, and we have a very, very much harder and longer, ba longer battle ahead um, as we incorporate personhood. Um, our principles are um, movement building, uh, anti oppression framework. Uh, I believe that as an organization that we do a great job of uh, making sure that we are a diverse organization and, 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 and strive for that. Oh, can people still? Yep, I think so. Oh, now it looks like you froze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure she's still here. Sorry, everyone. Uh, we lost Toma. It looks like she lost her internet connection. Okay. Can you hear me? All right. Looks like folks can hear me. So um, Toma can come back in as she's... Uh, I'll just go ahead and do this part um, while we wait for her to come back. So... Um, we need to raise $100,000 before the end of the year to start off 2014. So that's not just like this month. This was since September. And we're on our way to do that. One of the components of doing that is these grassroots house parties uh, that we are going to launch. And um, I know a number of you who are on the phone are also part of affiliates. And so our thinking was that um, doing these house parties, oh, shoot, that's probably total. Hold on, hold on a sec. I was just going ahead assuming you were going to come back in. Okay. Anyway, let me get back to... Okay, you're actually... Okay, you're on. On. So we just need to... So we need to... you. Okay. Mm -hmm. For that, I'm not sure what happened. Um... Okay. I just finished up the okay. festival. Okay, great, great. Sorry about that. Sorry about that brief question. I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Um, our move to and fundraising goals, our goal is to raise $100,000 uh, by the end of the year. Uh, this goal was set in September for the remaining three months, the last quarter of the year. And so part of that, uh, part of that amount that we want to raise is uh, $12,500 for us to um, for us to reach that goal. We want to be able to host a 25 house parties by the end of the year. And each of those house parties, our goal is to raise uh, $500, which can be done. Uh, it is definitely possible. And so we, as we are doing this now, we're doing this webinar. We have had 32 people sign up already to Nation Builder who want to host house parties. So that's well above 25, which is great. You know, as you know, it's always better to raise more money anyway than less. Um, but I'm sure we can definitely do it for sure. Um, and so um, with Move to Amend, I kind of want to give you a background of how we kind of do a combination of fundraising um, with our um, 
with an organization in the past, my experience has been that most organizations can be. Can everyone hear me now? Kind of choppy. Kind of choppy. Okay. It's like an echo. Hmm. Okay, let me go in a little, little more. Maybe, maybe that may help. Okay, so the way we reach our goals is that we use a combination of the fundraising. And so um, in, in the past and the experience that I have, a lot of organizations, anywhere from like 75 to 90 percent of their fund, of their funding has came from grants, which is which is, which can be really, really unhealthy, particularly in this uh, in this economic climate. But the great thing about move to amend is that we do have a heavily, uh, a large, large, large individual donor base. And so most of those donations, um, thank God to our, to our wonderful website, move to amend, uh, org, a huge part of the donations come through online. So that's, and we are doing fantastic on that. Um, um, as I mentioned before, uh, we part of our funding, well, here, part of the funding is through foundation grants as well. This year we were awarded the um, Leibniston grant. And currently, we have a letter of we have a letter of inquiry submitted into Ben, ben and Jerry's um, foundation, uh, who have not got back to us whether they want to, us to go ahead to apply or not. But I checked it today; they're still undecided on whether they want us to uh, to, uh, to a grant application. Um, another source is direct mail. That direct mail, I put it segmented because we do look at how people had given before. Do they write checks is one thing, and also to how much they donate, and so do they do they get a personal letter or not? Um, um, also, too, a couple of other ways we have raised money, or well, one is one way that we are raising money is that um, at all of our barnstorming stops, we always uh, pass the hat. And so that is a source of money that we obtain as well. Um, and then we have a new program coming up called the T Car Donation Program, which uh, more details will be coming up later uh, on our website. But we are teaming with the organization, or teaming with a company called uh, Center for Car Donations, where you can donate your old car and get money for it, and we get a percentage of that money. And so once again, those details will be given much, much later on, on our website. Or so actually. Within the next within the next few weeks or so for the holiday season. Um, can everyone hear me? It's still a little it's bit still choppy. Still a little bit choppy. Hmm. And I wonder okay. if let me, I wonder if let me step back and maybe I'm maybe I'm too close. Okay. I think also, and so also turning off, turning off the camera. Off the camera. Oh, turn off the camera. Okay. Uh, I'll turn off mine too. I'll turn off mine too. So. Okay. All right. Okay. So another source of our money is house parties, and so that's what we're going to discuss today. And like we said, we're going to have questions. If you have any questions, you can answer those. We can ask answer those later on. Um. So, um, just so you know, these are these are a few places where our money goes to. And so uh, part of that is that we offer support to over 150 volunteer affiliates. Uh, we also offer week weekend-long conferences where we train our volunteers as well. And then part of our upkeep is that, OK, I'm trying to, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see what Richard Lentz wrote here about turn your speaker down, way down, and I see if it makes a difference. I think, I think. It's okay. It's not it's great. Okay. It's not ideal, but it, it's working all right. So I would just keep going. I'll let you know if it's all right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And so another part of those expenses are that we spend um, about a grand. We spend a grand a month uh, to upkeep our website. Okay. So um, what is a house party? So a house party, uh, it is a great opportunity why you support Move to Amend, uh, whether you support it, whether you support us financially or through your volunteer service, or you're just passionate about the work that we do. It's an opportunity for you to share 
uh, why why you like Move Men so much, and then also too to get your friends, family, or colleagues on board to hopefully support Move to a Men and continue our movement to grow. Um, and so with that, um, you want to make sure you emphasize that we do want to end in corporate rule and legal and continue legalizing democracy as well. Um, so with the House Party, I want to say that um, with the House Party, I want to go, actually I want to go to step um, our bullet point two first and say don't make it complicated, do what is comfortable. Um, I think that when people think of a party sometimes, uh, well you can think of a lot of fun, but you also can get overwhelmed by it and think there's like a lot for, a whole lot for you to do, which there is a whole lot for you to do, but also to um, do it at your comfort level. And so, um, so the past couple of weeks, I have been calling people who have signed up for house parties, and so I've asked them, uh, what what food do you plan on serving? Uh, are you going to do a potluck? You know, so forth. So the responses have been things from, um, I'm I love to cook. I'm gonna cook my own food, and I have everybody bring their own beer. Uh, there's been people who said they're going to get get food catered in um, as well. And as people who uh, I know, I know in my prior experience, people have um, got like several sandwiches from like Subway or Pop Belly or whatever local sandwich shop is near you, and they'll get those, get chips, and have uh, and have some sodas. And so, um, so I just stress that because that can be a stressor uh, with food um, and also accommodating people in your home is to uh, make it comfortable for you for yourself. And so with that, um, I also say. Um, David Daniel chimed in. He said, "Pizza is good for me." And yes, pizza. Pizza is very good and very and yes. Pizza is pizza can be great. Um, it's even better if you go to a local pizza place too, and not a corporate one. Just a side note. Um, so also with the um, with the house party, you want to make them fun and informative, and make it social. Make it a social gathering. You know, make it enjoyable for people to be there and not be like a taxing. Um, that they that they don't want to be there, and that they're you know they're begging, you know that like and like you're begging for them to be there. You wanted to make it relaxing and enjoyable as possible and comfortable as possible. Um, you also you want to invite your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, and um, and you also we also can invite move to amend supporters that are in your area if you want. And so if you if you have signed up that you're interested in hosting a move to amend house party on our website. Um, you have a choice to answer a question uh, regarding uh, do you want to invite your friends only or invite your friends and, and, to, and people we have in our database to live near you. And so some people like that because... Can I just um, add one on the this? Yes. So um, just so, make sure um, that to note that, that it's... Do you want to invite want just your friends, or do you want us to invite your friends plus us invite folks? So um, don't rely on the Move to Amend list to be your only source of invitees. Uh, we have a good list, but email is not always the best way to reach folks. And also, since um, these folks don't know you personally, there's nothing like inviting your friends and people you know who want to come and want to see you. So that should be the main um, invite list, but then we can supplement it with um, supporters who you don't know yet who hopefully can come and get involved that way. Yes, that's definitely true. You do not want to just rely on uh, our supporters that we have in our database. Uh, you want to invite your friends, people that know you, because they're more, than, they're more likely to come, for sure. Um, the next thing is that um, at moodtoamend.org uh, slash hot, hot, sorry slash house party, uh, you will find the um, checklist there along with some other lists that we will go over in a minute. Uh, but I highly recommend using the checklist because it's just a great guide for you, as I mentioned before. Um, so once again, though, um, I wanted to stress: don't um, do not hesitate to contact me uh, or contact the office if you need help with the house party. It's probably best though that you contact me directly so I can give you some guidance on the house party uh, email address, uh, which is also available in the house party emails and on the website is toma at org. 
um, some available for you to, to see. Um, okay, so as I mentioned, uh, the link before mutualmen.org house party. There are several um, several great uh, resources for you. But today, though, I'm going to I'm going to focus mostly on the house party checklist and go through that step by step with you. But please be sure that you check. Please be sure that you check out the additional tools available to you. Um, the email invitation um, template, uh, paper invitation template, um, especially the um, sample party agenda, because that will give you an idea of how to fill your time. So some folks. Uh, speaking of filling time, some folks are using their time to show the DVD, Legalized Democracy, or they're a speaker from their local affiliate, or in some cases, if one of our executive members is in town for whatever reason, we may be able to be there to speak at that party. Um, that, that's very, very few parties, though. Uh, so definitely it'll make things a lot smoother. Um, another important thing to have and to review before your party is the talking points for the host or the speaker. So, because um, with this, you're going to be doing an ask uh, for donations. And so you want to make sure that you are, um, you know, giving, sharing uh, what Mutual Men is doing and um, and why they should. And so be sure to your talking points and share those with your guests. Um, also, we have here uh, the report form. Um, you will see that on the website as well. It's a spreadsheet, basically, and there you will fill out information such as uh, the name uh, and a donation amount of the donor. You will send uh, that information along with uh, a check that they have written or a check that you have if, if they give you cash or a money order that you had to get because they gave you cash. You're going to send um, you're going to send all together uh, to mutual men uh, to Rico. and the address is provided uh, on that spreadsheet as well, and it will also be in this uh, in this PowerPoint. Um, Come on, can I, just, come we, on, can I just, sure um, repeat that again because um, I think we broke up a little bit, and also there is an echo. I'm echoing through your computer line, so if there is any way to do it through headphones, that would go away. That would go away. Um, oh, to put on headphones? Yeah, if you if you use your head, you know your your buzz and your mic. Your buzz. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Um, hold on one, hold on one moment. I'm just gonna repeat what, I'm what, gonna repeat what uh, we were doing. Okay, so what Tomo was saying is that. There is a check. There is a spreadsheet to fill out that we will send you with the in the, in the house party kit, or you can download it online. And um, that's where you would list all the people who came and what they donated. And then, if folks donate cash, obviously you don't want to put cash in the mail, so um, you would write a check for that amount um, and then keep the cash. Or you can purchase a money order. If you don't want it to come through your account, um, and uh, and then you can just send the money order to us. And um, if you're a move to amend affiliate group before you send that money, um, let's have a conversation by phone just to figure out how to split it out. Um, we could either send you back a check, or it might make sense for you to just hold on to the cash part, um, depending on how that equals. The idea is that we split it 50-50. Um, but I, this is all written, assuming that we're not talking about affiliates, but since a number of you on this call are affiliates, I just want to flag that it probably makes sense for us to have a conversation before you actually send the money so that we're clear on how we're going to split it. And Echo is gone, so thanks for plugging in. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, Toma, but the Echo wasn't there then. Okay. All right. Thank you, Caitlin. Okay. Um, so, um, I hope that, um, that you were able to uh, download the, the house party checklist um, because I do believe that it's very, very, very handy. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of just run through this with you and kind of touch on some more important, I'm going to run through it, but kind of, and then I'll go through kind of important stuff that I think that you cannot ob obviously not overlook, but I'm not going to like go through step by step by step because it, um, 
that will be here for a long time so I should I try to do that. Okay, so uh, five weeks before your party. Now, as we all know, I mean, five weeks is like right around the corner, and so um, obviously that um, five five weeks before is the recommended time. But I have people who have like in two weeks, it's like, hey, I'm going to have a house party. I don't recommend that, but but that can happen too. Um, so the further in advance that you have, the better off you're going to be. Um, um, post is going to be. I think the biggest thing that um, that obviously is important is the venue. Uh, is going to be your place or somewhere else? Because also with that planning in advance, if you plan on having it at a church or a local bar or a restaurant or um, or another facility, you need to make sure that you're able to get that get that particular room or space for the particular time for the particular time that you want, um, and that they are accommodating for you for all your needs that you need for the party. So that definitely is first, for sure. Um, also, too, if you're going to have it at your place, we'll talk about this a little bit later, you want to make sure that you have people to help you out beforehand and help you out afterwards in doing with uh, all different things going on, uh, serving food, uh, setting out food, asking, um, collecting money, um, all those things need to be assigned to people. Um, but we'll go over that a little bit later. Um, also, too, the, the, another important, very important thing is to make uh, is to make an invitation list. And so, um, I say with the invitation list, you know, um, obviously our ultimate goal for us when we move to amend is um, is to raise money. And so, um, yes, it's good to invite people to inform them of, of, of what's going on with men, but I think also too, you also want to think of their giving capacity um, and, and who and who you invite. But I'm not, I'm not saying don't invite, don't invite people because they can't give, but I'm just saying that I think that it's important that you take that in consider, into consideration when you create your invitation list. Um, and like we mentioned before with the invitation list, we can also uh, send down an email to people who live in your vicinity as well. But once again, uh, you don't want to be too dependent on that because uh, people do overlook their emails. People might, you know, they may not know who you are, so why should they go to the party? There's a number of reasons why they, number of reasons why they may not come if we send them an email. Um, but if it comes from you directly and you already have a relationship with that person of some sort, the likelihood of them coming to your party is uh, a lot more greater. Um, and if the invite comes from you, that's a lot more greater as well. Uh, a lot more greater they will come. Um, um, also, to start assembling the, the party materials. So with that, we'll talk about the house party kit. Um, so the house party kit, uh, um, people who have ordered already, their order will be going out tomorrow. Is that correct, Caitlin? Yep, that is right. Okay. Okay. I will be going out tomorrow. And so I do highly recommend if you are um, having a party to order your kit, like, um, Today or very very soon, especially since the end of the year is coming so coming so quickly. Um, Would it be helpful if I just quickly ran through what's in the kit for folks who haven't checked that out yet? Um, yes, yes, please do. So the link for where to purchase it is um, at that move to amend.org slash house party page, and then there's a bunch of links there um, that would take you to the purchase page to get the kit. The basic kit has our DVD, um, 30 bumper stickers, 10 of each one that we have. Uh, so that's three different bumper stickers, 10 each. 30 buttons, one self-inking stamp, so a fun activity that you can have um, that you should set up somewhere like at a table where people will see it is the, the self-inking stamp and then people can stamp their money. Um, and you could also tell people to bring cash if you want to um, suggest that since not everyone carries that on them. Uh, 50 move to amend brochures, and then the sign-in sheet for your guests, which is the petition, and a tally envelope for donations, um, and then instructions how to mail it back. And then there's a all that and more kit, which has all of those things plus 10 of the a corporation is not a person, money is not free speech rubber stamps that are usually $12 each. So both of those two things are greatly reduced. The idea isn't really to make money on it. It's just to help cover a little bit of the cost plus shipping. And you can, if you 
you know, if, it, if, if it's a hardship to get it, you could even, um, you know, take uh, from the donations to reimburse yourself. Otherwise, it's an extra donation that you're giving to move to amend to cover our costs for these materials. And I would encourage you to, um, you know, if you get the, the extra one um, with the stamps, you can uh, do a drawing, you could have door prizes, um, you could, you know, do a little bit of trivia if you want to, uh, make it up, or, you know, just put names in a hat and pick them out um, as prizes, uh, bumper stickers and buttons, you know, you can give those, the brochure, give those away, and then, of course, you can show the film um, on a computer or TV, um, and that can be a really good entree into, you know, making the case for Move to Amend, it's engaging, it's only 30 minutes. Um, and then after that, you can go back to, um, you know, live Q&A and making the pitch. So all of those things are in the kit and uh, definitely would agree with, we send them out as soon as possible now that we have the DVD. Um, but uh, please make sure to order them quickly. And if anyone has a party that's just right around the corner and you're worried that the DVD wouldn't get to you on time, there is a way we can give you a private link where you can um, see the DVD on, or see the film online um, before the DVD gets there. So if you're in a pinch, uh, we do have a backup plan that we can do. But of course, it's better to have it, and then you can also try and you know let people know that they can purchase their own copies. And um, when you go to get the house party kit in our store, there's books and other materials there. If there's any extra supplies that you would like to add in. Um, most of everything we sell, we sell uh, at a discount if you get higher amounts um, and bulk pricing to uh, really make it as affordable as possible. So feel free to um, look there early and place a larger order if you like. Okay. Thank you, Caitlin. Okay. Um, so uh, so th three weeks before your party, um, we ask that you send invitations out. Um, once again, this is, this is ideal and recommend it. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always work that way. Uh, some of us are know our friends and know that we can tell them, we tell them a week before and they'll show up next week for the party. So um, this is a recommendation that we have that's going on three weeks before. And also, too, this helps you let, this helps you with knowing how many people are going to come who RSVP so you can prepare how much food you need to make and drinks and et cetera. Um, and so um, once again, as we said before, we can send out an um, email invite to our um, to the supporters in your area. But we also have an email template that can be used on the house party link that we discussed um, that you can go to as well, where you can send an uh, email out to your friends as well. Um, also, too, um, one thing that I did today with someone, uh, they're creating the email uh, for their guests or for the invite, invite invitees. But um, here at Move to Men, we can create the, the link where they can RSVP. And so we can send that link to you. You can include, include that in your email. Feel free to use um, Facebook as well. You can create an event there and invite your friends that way. Yes, you can use Facebook as well, as well, and then also too, you can post that link there on Facebook if you want to. Uh, but anyone, any of any of the Facebook users know is is that um, sometimes you know, people say they're going to say yes, they're going to come, and they don't come. But maybe you know if you put the link on there in their RSVP, maybe they're uh, more likely to come to your party. Um, so, so now invitations are very important. Um, another thing too is that. Um, um, I find that phone calls um, are very effective with your friends to invite them, or in some cases, you can text your friends too. But I think a direct contact uh, from you, the host, to your friend or family member or colleague and saying, um, you know, I'm having a party in, in three weeks is very, very good and a lot more effective because uh, one thing, you know, you got them on the phone and you told them about the party and you're getting the RSVP from them, hopefully, at that time. Whereas with email, people can overlook it, it, gets, it can get lost, and with paper, the same thing can happen as well. Um, but once again, we do have an email template and a paper invite template available on our website if you want to use that. 
Um, also, too, um, through EC4, um, the idea to play the menu. Once again, like I stressed before, it's just more about being comfortable with what you are willing to serve. And um, if you want to be extravagant, that's great. But don't, you know, but don't do anything that's going to like, uh, going to make it stress really stressful for you. We want you to have fun at the same time where you're fundraising. Um, also, too, uh, as I said before, you want a lot of any help that you may need. Um, because uh, you can't do it all by yourself. Uh, you want somebody, you know, help maybe some at the door, a coat check if you're in a cold climate, people are bringing their coats, get the coat checked in. Um, you may need somebody to look over the food. Um, in some cases, you may want somebody uh, there to pour some wine, act as, a, act as a bartender for a couple of hours. And so you want to think about all those things, people that, all those things and people that you may need to have your party run um, run. Um, two weeks before, uh, following up on food, once again, you want to make uh, sure your uh, food service is all ready and how you need to know how what you're going to serve and how you're going to serve it and you need to prepare it. You know, like for instance, if you're going to have pizza, you know, some cases you might order pizza like out to be delivered, but in some cases you may order some uh, pre-made pizzas and cook them yourself, so you got to make time for that and everything. So with your schedule, with the with your um, not necessarily with the agenda, but maybe to a, a note for yourself for your schedule that evening. Make sure that you schedule that. I need to start cooking pizzas at X amount of time so they are ready, hot, fresh, and ready for when people come in the door. Um, also, what I recommend if you are going to have a caterer uh, for your party, or you're going to go pick up like a large amount of food from a particular uh, restaurant. Um, on the agenda or on a sheet of paper, whatever works best for you, um, have the contact number of that restaurant um, or catering service so you can call them that day to make sure that they are completing your order and make sure that you all have the same delivery times or pickup times because you don't want to, in a panic at the end, kind of figure all that out. And also, too, uh, if you're going to assign people if you're going to assign uh, someone, make sure that they are going to go pick up that food um, at the time they say that they are on that day so you're not stuck with trying to worry about if the food gets there or not. And also with, with, that, uh, with that in mind, you also want to keep the numbers um, available of your help as well so you can call them if something comes up or if you need one more thing. Um, um, another thing, too, you may want to have music. Um, I put together a house party before where um, someone had a friend uh, that was a guitarist, and so they played they played while people walked in the door. So you can do something like that, um, or you can just make a playlist or use Pandora, like I would like I would do if you want to do that. Um, um, another important thing too is to uh, make sure that you have the setup ready for the film. Um, Make sure that everything is working and charged and ready to go so you're able to show the film. Um, you make sure you have all the connections and the setup that you need for that. Maybe do a test run those two weeks before to make sure that everything is working because you do not want to have uh, that last minute um, thing happen where it's not working and you're trying to find a way to fill 30 minutes of time because your movie is not working. Um, another recommendation is to do a first round shopping and you are prepared ahead of time. Uh, can you say that again? I don't okay. think anyone caught any of it. Okay. Um, once again, with the food, uh, do a first round of grocery shopping and cooking. Uh, once again, just to make sure you are prepared ahead of, ahead of time. I know I keep mentioning food, food and food and drinks over and over again, but um, the people, you know, when they come to, to a party, they do kind of expect that, and also, too, um, don't want to be people arriving and nothing's there for them to nibble on or, or to sip on. Um, the week before, um, here's, here's some su suggestions. Um, you know, make sure your house is clean. Uh, but that, you know, once again, depending on, the, depending on the type of friend that you're inviting, you may have friends that are used to the way that you live, and you can have your house set up any way you like. Um, but, um, you know, just make sure your house is clean. Make sure people can get through and stuff for the party. 
Um, also, too, you may want to have some uh, decorations of some sort, and so that can include flowers. Uh, you may want to set the stage. So, um, as we mentioned before, we have talking points, and we also have where you do an ask, and so the ask may be, be done by your Um, I'm sorry about that. I have someone that uh, that put a put a uh, question. Up. We'll answer that later. Okay. We'll um, um, and so um, you may, you know, you may either you may you you yourself may be doing the ask, or maybe uh, or you may be giving the talking points, or you may have an affiliate person or a executive person there to move to men talking, and so you want to make sure that you have room and space for them to be able to talk and discuss and talk about uh, move to men, and also to have a space where people are able to see them to uh, to talk. Um, also, too, you want to make sure that you have enough cookware, serving dishes, and all those all those good things, so that you are able to um, so you are able to serve serve everyone everyone appropriately and not run out of anything. And also, once again, with the beverages, make sure that you stop to bar if you're um, if you're serving alcohol. Um, three days before, um, you also want to make sure that you let your neighbors know if you're having a party. Now, this is really optional. Um, this is not like this is a recommendation. It just depends on uh, on your neighbors how uh, what your relationship is with them. Uh, make sure you decorate. So you can decorate later on if you want, but it's a recommendation. Um, set up your cleaning station, stop the bar, and then make sure you finish your grocery shopping so you uh, are ready to go on the day of the party. Um, and so the day before, you might you may want to set your set your tables up and everything so that you are not set you know in a rush on the same day of the party because some of us do you know work during the day. We're going to have a party in the evening. It's best for us to have the party, um, the party all set up the day before, so we're ready to go when the party starts. Um, and also, too, this is a time for you to really check and see if anything missing that you need for your party. Okay. So the next thing is that um, we have a sample party agenda. Um, and so uh, I recommend that you get that from our website. And then with with the with the agenda, I highly uh, recommend that you have like just a two hour time time slot because it just makes it easier for you uh, as a host. And so uh, there's a popular times for the party six to eight or seven to nine. That way, it's not too early and it's not too late in the evening. People can come after the after work, stop by, and then you know, head on back home. Um, also, too, you know, are you going to show the DVD? And once again, as I stressed before, make sure you have all the technical um, items that you need in order to throw, throw the party appropriate, appropriate or show the movie appropriately. Um, and then also, to make sure you have the talking points so you are able to share those when you uh, do your ask for them to amend. Um, after the party. Um, like I said before, there is a report form. On that report form, you want to make sure you complete the form and mail all your donations to um, to our Eureka office. So that here it is, PO Box 610, um, Eureka, California 95502. Um, and that, that address is also on the report form. And so, and so just um, so just make sure that you send that in. Also, to if you get cash. You do want to write that. You, you do definitely want to make sure that you write down the name of the person and the amount that they gave, so we can give them the appropriate thank you for their donation. But however, you, you do not want to send that cash to us. You want to either write a personal check to yourself, or you want to convert that cash into a money order um, that you can buy at the post office uh, and send it to us as well. And once again, um, I want to stress this again: if you have any questions, please call. And ask us if you have any if you have any questions at all. Okay, and so um, I have your congratulations. You're doing your first house party for me.
in and we thank you kindly. Now we'll go to questions and comments. So if folks have questions, you can chat them on the side and um, as we're waiting for folks to do that. Also, if you have comments, suggestions for, um, for things that you've done that work well for you, um, feel free to type those in as well. So just a couple things to underscore. Part of why um, Tomo went over kind of the advanced prep is that um, this one, this can be as you know casual or formal as you want it to be. So um, stress again what she said in terms of doing what works for you. But if you prepare in advance a little bit, then that way on the day of and at the party itself, you can focus on um, being a host and um, paying attention to people, talking to your friends, meeting new folks who come, uh, answering questions about Move to Amend as best as you, as you can. You can, if you don't know everything, that's fine. You can definitely let people know, you know, why you support Move to Amend. And um, if there's questions that you can't answer, then um, you can direct people to contact us at the office directly or um, let them know that you can, you know, work with us to, to get the question answered after the party. But you want to be able to focus on the people there, and you don't want to be running around, you know, dealing with food stuff that you didn't anticipate. The other thing is that um, the point of this is to raise money and, and support for Move to Amend. And so, and then also to have fun with your friends. And so doing everything ahead of time helps you to do that. And, um, and you want to make sure that you have thought ahead of time about how to kind of choreograph things so that you can definitely get to that money ask at a time where, you know, before people have left the event, because um, people kind of come and go. So you want to kind of at the height moment, maybe even you do it more than once, um, explicitly ask people to make a donation for Move to Amend. And the good news is that by calling it a house party and the way the invitations are set up, people are all expecting that ask. And it would actually be awkward if you don't actually do it. So, um, but sometimes people can kind of conveniently forget that part. Uh, and so, you know, you want to plan for how you're going to do it ahead of time and how it's going to happen. Maybe you have a basket at the door, maybe you pass a hat, um, but you want to make a pitch where you explicitly ask and, and the materials on the website um, speak to that and give you some guidance for how to do that in a way that feels natural and easy. And again, everyone is expecting you to do that, so it's not going to feel awkward or uncomfortable. And in fact, people are coming because they're interested in supporting Move to Amend as well. And it doesn't matter if they can only give, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, that every little bit adds up. These are meant to be grassroots events, and so we're not, um, you know, if somebody makes a larger donation, that's fabulous and wonderful, and um, you know, we'll be really excited. But these are meant to have a lot of these events and make them easy. Um, and so uh, the idea is that most people will probably be giving a smaller amount, you know, maybe $100, and, um, and that will totally cover what we need it to because we'll have these happening all over the country. So I see we've got a couple, at least one question here. Richard um, says, my party is 12 days away and only one person has signed up. What should I do? Well, Richard, um, we haven't sent it out to the list of Move to Amend supporters yet. So um, definitely uh, let us know by contacting Toma, uh, again, Toma, T-O-M-A, at movetoamend.org, uh, that um, you maybe need some help getting people to come, and we can send an email to the area. You happen to live in Eureka, where, where I live, and I'm actually doing a party um, later in December, but I think ours are far enough away from each other that, um, that it is fine to you know, have us both in the same town doing one. I'm sorry, I'll be out of town for years. Otherwise, I would come to yours too. Um, so let's send an email out to the Move to Amend supporters in this area. We actually have a strong following here in Eureka because this is where our office is. And then also um, make a list of all the people that uh, you've invited and um, follow up phone calls and give them a call. Make sure they saw your email. I'm assuming you sent it by email, but um, the other thing is that with 12 days, there's still time if you wanted to put a postcard in the mail. Um, but Thomas said earlier, phone calls are really a key way to um, get people to pay attention in this day and age when we get too many emails. So I would really recommend doing that. Do you have any other suggestions, Thomas, for what folks can do if they haven't got a lot of invites attending? Um, you, you ready to go? 
back to your said it, I was going to say all those same exact things. Um, just that, you know, just I, I would say just uh, I would say one thing to ask more than once. Um, once again, with our technology, with Facebook and email and all that, and text, people overlook stuff so easily these days. And so we have to just really, you know, you got to ask at one time. So that's why I I recommend the phone call because, you know, hopefully if your friends pick or do, do talk on the phone and do pick up, you know, you know you got them on the phone and you can say, hey, you know, you come to this party, give them all the great reasons why they should come, and you can really stress it. Whereas with emails, you know, it's so easy to just delete, just to delete the email and just ignore it completely. And so I think I would say phone calls is definitely a, a, a way to um, – Way to send it, or also too, uh, if you don't want to be real, real formal and like you know, with like a, um, like a, like an email template or whatever, you can send a really basic email to your friend and say, hey, did you read my email? Then you should come by or something, but just not so like formal and stuff, and it makes it a little more relaxing. Um, but um, but yeah, I'm not sure how many people you originally had though to to invite. So the more you invite, of course, uh, the better. Turn yeah, so definitely, um, you know, send that email again that you've already sent out, Richard, and then contact Toma and we'll see about um, expanding the pool of invitees. So Mary Sue asked how long the DVD is. It's 30 minutes. It's actually 29 minutes. Um, and so that's just enough time to hold people's attention and keep it exciting. And there's also some extras, um, extra interviews, but I wouldn't recommend using those at this party. Um, 500 per party seems like a lot of money if you have a party in your house and you want to make sure there's a chair for everyone to sit and watch a DVD. That may be. Um, 500 is our suggestion, but it's actually up to you to set a goal that you think. So if you're, you know, only going to have six people, then 500 might be more than you can do. Maybe everybody can't give 500. But our thinking was that if you have 10 people and um, the average is 50, so that's why we set the $500 amount, which 10 is actually kind of small. It, um, it might be totally what makes sense in your house. Um, it might be kind of more intimate. But um, most parties, folks, you know, can try to get, you know, 20 to 40 people. And so um, 500, you know, in that case maybe isn't so much. And uh, so maybe, you know, but set a goal that works for you. And any bit that um, that you can raise uh, is is will make us happy and thrilled and will help contribute to um, doing our work. And also, however many people come, will then, you know, learn about Move to Amend. So uh, there's no number that um, is too small to raise. We just suggest that you try to set a goal and let people know what the goal is because that can help you meet it. Uh, let's see. Yes. Um... Go ahead, Thomas. Yes, yes, I, I strongly agree with that to let them know what your goal is because um, the, so because people are really encouraged and they really are and, um, they really are flattered that you invited them to the, to your party too as well and so for them to know what your goal is I think most people will come they they want to see you reach your goal and so to have a number attached is definitely a very good thing as opposed to just giving blindly where you just kind of hoping whatever they can give. If you have a goal set, that makes things a lot better. So I just want to go back to Richard um, and, and for anybody else who, who's not clear. So, um, again, just to repeat that uh, the plan here is that you will invite your friends. And then if you want us to, we can also invite the Move to Amend supporters in your area. But um, sometimes we have done events where we, we do most of the f inviting, but this is not one of those times because we really have found that with, with house parties like this, what's most effective is that people who know you, who want to see you, who are excited to come to your house and get to connect with you um, are the main guests. And then maybe there's some supplemental folks as well who have just been waiting for an opportunity to connect with people who are interested in Move to Amend. And those can help, you know, make the critical mass. But the, the kind of base of it should um, should be your friends, and that's who will be most interested in, um, in coming because they know you. And they're also going to be the ones who are going to be the most interested in, in donating if they don't yet know Move to Amend, again, because they know you and because they trust you, and they're going to be curious to hear about an organization that you support. 
And this is all proven in our experience with doing events like this. And so that's why we're doing it this way. So, um, and then if you do want us to invite people, though, we're very happy to do that. Just let us know. Um, and we're waiting for you to tell us that just because we're waiting for you to finalize your date and your time and your location and, and get all that together. And then also to confirm that you want that invite. Because some people don't want strangers to come. They only want their friends. So um, we want to hear from you if you do want to invite extra people. And then we will be happy to do that. And 12 days is plenty of time to still do that. Definitely, definitely. Twelve days is definitely enough time. Anybody else have okay. any questions? Also, is there anybody who is still not sure? Is there anything holding you back that makes you feel like you're not sure if you can pull this off or do it? Um, would love to hear if there's anybody who's tentative. See if we can't um, shoot if that you think are barriers to being able to do a party. And also, if it's really impossible to do it between now and the end of the year, and also this recording will be up, um, you know, longer than that. Uh, this is something. This is a campaign that we'll have into going into 2014. That we have staffing to help support people with with bringing Toma on in August. Um, grassroots fundraising is the main way that Move to Amend has existed so far, and pulling people together and doing that, you know, not just through clicking on the computer you know, somebody sitting at their desk, but actually having a group get together and um, learn about Move to Amend together and then get excited is uh, a really powerful way to get support, um, both monetarily and also, you know, commitment from folks to get involved. And so uh, house parties will definitely continue on this year, but we're really hoping the folks possible will prioritize it this year um, so that we can reach our goal for the end of the year. Sweet, Barbara says she's in. Yay. Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. .org slash house party. There's a link, there's a big button right there that says, I, I'm, I'm ready to do one, and then you can fill in all the details with your tape. So move to amend.org slash house party, and then just click the button that says um, something to the effect of, you know, sign me up for my party. And we'll send everyone the recording of this. Um, webinar along with that link as well. Well, it looks like, Tomo, we don't have any more questions. Is there anything else that you want to add? Um, okay, can everyone hear me? I got a message that my my sound may be off, so hopefully everyone can hear me. Okay. Can hear you. Um, okay, great. Um, no, um, I really don't have too much to add. I just want to say that thank you for everyone being on the call and uh, getting our advice also, too. Um, I do want to also learn from you uh, what, work, what works and what doesn't work as well. So feel free to contact me anytime um, regarding the house parties or any other fundraising uh, strategies that you can think of for Move to Amend. Um, but I wanted to say thank you so much for your time, and um, I really, really appreciate it um, listening to me tonight. Great. Well, thanks. Um, yes, thanks, everybody, and thanks for um, doing your first webinar with Move to Amend. Um, so the recording, as always, will be posted uh, ideally by tomorrow. That's my hope, as long as nothing goes by as I'm transferring it over to YouTube. And we'll send you a link when that's up. Um, and again, the house party kits and the DVD are available for order now. They'll get sent out right away. If anyone is having a party in the next couple of days, they have gotten your materials yet. Um, contact us and we'll let you know how to tune into the DVD without um, having to get the physical one. Um, but we only want to do that as a fallback. And then um, when I end this meeting, you will automatically be taken to a survey uh, to give us some feedback evaluation on um, this uh, webinar. So please let us know. I know we had a couple there were some t difficulties with Thomas sound. Hopefully it was able to come through enough for everyone between the screen and, and uh, most of her syllables working. So sorry about the technical difficulties. Um, but any other feedback you have for content and ideas for future topics, uh, please let us know. And um, when if you go to movetoamend.org slash webinars, there is a link to all the past webinars, and each entry has both the recording 
and a PDF of the slides. So all of that is uh, available if you want to print this out um, and refer back to it later that way. So I think with that, um, we're finished. Uh, so please hold on um, and let your browser take you to the evaluation. And um, thanks again for being here. And if you have any follow-up questions, um, you can contact us through info at movetoamend.org or call 707-269-0984. That's both to the office. If you want to contact Toma directly, you can also do that by emailing her at Toma, T-O-M-A, at movetoamend.org. Okay, thanks, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you, everybody.